with them. Come on, you can do better than that. Make some noise, damn it. It's Wednesday. All right. All right, when you ask that you keep your cell phones in the vibrate position, and as a courtesy to others, please keep your table talk to a minimum and your laughter to a maximum. At this time, please welcome to the stage, your host, MC, John Bill. Yeah, no, I gotta get the timing down. Hey, thanks a lot for coming out. It is our second uh, night in a row here. Last night was our grand opening and you guys made it like the day after you were late. Uh, but thanks for coming out. We appreciate you supporting live comedy. By applause, how many people have been to some of our comedy shows before? I recognize several of you. Great. And those four are going, oh shit, that's the guy who said this. This is gonna suck. Uh, you know, actually, it's, it's funny, because you know we, we put a lot of work into getting this set up and get it open on time. And um, next Tuesday, here we are only open a week. Next Tuesday, I won't be here. I have to go do a show for a charity thing over here at the Arts Center, right? For Hilton Head Honors or whatever. Which is really odd, though, for me, because the last time I did a charity event was to raise money for, like, the Alzheimer's, right? Ironically, they called it a night to remember. Um, I was like, really? Are you kidding me now? That just seems cruel, you know? I don't know. It just seems so wrong. But it is, and it's gonna be odd because I'm like the only non-musical act that's gonna be there. Everybody else is like a band, you know? They get to play proven songs, proven material. I can't go up there and do like a Jerry Seinfeld tribute, you know? <laughs> and who are those people, you know? The hair that's climbing up the thing, you know? So I don't get the option of doing that, you know? And lately, they've had a big rash of tribute bands. Have you heard this? You know, like out at Sun City, they have a band coming, they're a Eagles tribute band. You know, and uh, Remy's just had a tribute band for Led Zeppelin, which sounds great if you like their kind of music, but I'm thinking that's just a little unfair because nobody can go around as a tribute comic, you know? You, know? <laughs> you can be an impressionist and do like Jay Leno if you look like him or something like that, but you can't go around with, yes, I look nothing like him, I sound nothing like him, I'm just going to do his material and call it a tribute. You know? <laughs> just doesn't work out. Cool, thanks for coming out, thanks for joining us. Um, you, this, since this is your first time, we're gonna be nice, um, but we don't pick on people, but we do ask that you uh, uncross your arms, you look like I'm so many times here, let it go. Uh, we're all here to have a good time, you know, and we've actually hired someone, I'm just up here as a human sacrifice designed to stall for time while you get cocktails. So, it's good to know your place in life, isn't it? Yeah. Uncross your arms, there you go, all right, cool. I'm glad you guys came out tonight. We're going to have a lot of fun. We actually had a lot of fun last night, too, so it's, uh, I'm looking forward to tonight. Uh, we're going to bring up, we have a guest comedian for you this evening. You guys excited? Yeah. Then you really should tell your hands, let me tell you, people. <laughs> it doesn't inspire them if they just see us staring at them like fish in a goldfish bowl. You know? If you inspire them, you get more back. It's like love. The more you give, the more you get back. You know? Or a social disease. Whatever. Um, <laughs> But the more you do it, the more you about yeah. Anyway, um, we're going to bring up your guest comedian. Uh, this gentleman here uh, has been doing some shows here for us recently in the last few months. But he is here for you tonight. Put your hands together. Welcome to the stage. Very funny, Mr. Michael Black. Oh, my buddy's back. Just please tell everybody I am funny. He's very funny. funny. I'm not that funny. <laughs> Don't want to set the bar too high. <laughs> hey, welcome, welcome everyone. My name is Mike Black. Welcome to the comedy club at top of Kingfisher. Yeah, yeah this is the second night, as John said, and it is working out perfect. Um, didn't know the top of Kingfisher meant uh, on top of a restaurant, but hey. The good thing about Hillhead, they don't need, they don't lose any space around it. They use all the space, definitely. Resourceful city, resourceful. Uh, not to worry, I am the guest speaker. I'm, I'm not the guy you pay for, so don't worry. <laughs> he crossed his arms again, John. <laughs> I'm more of a, what you call a guarantee, because as soon as I leave this stage, I guarantee you're gonna laugh at the next person that comes up here. So don't worry, not to worry, not at all. Well, welcome, welcome. Uh, round of applause, how many visitors do we have tonight? Visiting the island. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. It's pretty good. How was the bike ride? <laughs> yeah. Wasted your whole day, didn't you? Who, who talked you into it? 
It's never the guy's choice to do that bike ride all day, is it? Uh, I don't get it. I don't get it. I've never been anywhere where it's a it's a guarantee or a definite you have to ride a bike on your vacation. I mean, it is crazy. It is crazy. I think it's a hill-to-head ploy. You, you know, we pump the air with all those misters and things like that, but it's to get you to ride bikes, I think. That's the only way we're going to get you on a bike. I mean, you walk, you drive 12 hours down. Oh, my goodness. And you, you're just going through all kinds of, because you know you printed out all those papers and everything online, and social, and got you all your coupons and everything. And as soon as you get out of the car, I'm going to ride a bike. I'm going to ride a bike very far all day. Doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't. I'm sorry. Maybe because I live here. I don't know. I mean, but just think about it. Have you ever been any other vacation places and seen people riding bikes all over the place? You been in Orlando and people up and down International Drive on bikes? Hell no, they got better shit to do, right? You ever been to Vegas? Up and down the strip, you got babies and toddlers and moms and dads on bikes? Hell no. They got better shit to do. That should be our motto, our, lo- our slogan, right? Come to Hilton Head, eat, dine, and ride a bike. Because we ain't got shit else for you to do. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's very obvious. It's very obvious. i tell you one thing. I know somebody that agrees with me about this bike thing. If there's one person that agrees with me about this whole ride and bike thing on vacation, it's the babies. I bet you money. I, now, I'm not talking about the, in, the, the, the three-year-old babies, the one-year-old babies. They get amused by anything. They follow the butterfly all the way through the bike ride. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about the babies that are not old enough to have their own bike, but just old enough to understand this is some bullshit. <laughs> I mean, we came to the beach. I want to do sand castles. I want to get stung by jellyfish over and over and over. And we riding bikes all day. What is and, they, and then, of course, you know, they're sitting in the bike. They got that seat in the back of Dad's ass. And, you know, Dad got to take his shirt off. He's, you know, sweaty, wet, hairy back. And the bike, the bike is just sitting back there and just like, this is some bullshit. And then mom hollers out, look at everyone, it's hard time, it's a layout. The baby's, baby's, the baby's looking all over, he can't see shit around dad's ass. Baby's getting no joy out of riding this bike, I'm telling you. No joy whatsoever. It's unfair, very unfair, I think. No, it's a great place though, it's a great city. <sighs> What's going on here? Well, I tell you one thing, you know, uh, I just got out of rehab not too long ago. And that wasn't the funny part, I didn't. No, it wasn't it was funny. <laughs> no, but seriously, I just got out of rehab not too long ago. I am officially three days Facebook free. <laughs> Woo! That's what I'm doing those yells and, and rehabbing. <laughs> Facebook, how, how did it get so addictive? I don't get it. I can't take it. How did it get so addictive? I had to turn myself in. I couldn't take it anymore. I, I wasted hours, hours and upon hours. I mean, I, I knew I had a problem when Facebook started uh, getting priority over, over free online porn. That's when I knew I had a Facebook problem. I thought it couldn't get no better than that, but. Facebook came along. No, but it's crazy. I and mean, you think, what makes it so addictive? Is it the camaraderie amongst friends? Connecting with old loved ones? Hell no. Nah. It's looking at all the stupid shit people put on there all day long. The statuses, oh my God. I, I, this is how I know I'm getting out of the Facebook. Because the statuses are driving me crazy now. A status for everything. Oh my God, now you got everybody wants to be funny. You got the philosophical people with the deep thought, great. You got the, oh, yeah, you can definitely tell, I, I love the couples on there. I just had a great time with hubby. Yes. <laughs> that brings two things to me, one or two things. They either brand new husband and wife, or they're fucking lying, I'm sorry, they're lying. <laughs> Nobody, nobody's been together that long and, and publicizing how great the night with hubby was. Huh. He's probably not even home. She's doing it for her friends. It's crazy how the status is thing goes. And the posting of the pictures, oh my God. It's gotten out here? Oh my goodness. Just cook this nice casserole. Yum. Who gives a fuck? I tell you. Who cares? And it's like they took the picture as soon as 
soon as it came out the oven. I mean, it's like the no, 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 nobody eat, nobody touch nothing, don't, don't touch nothing. Don't. I'll be right back. I'm gonna download this paper. What the hell? We ready to eat? Mom didn't take pictures back then. Come on, eat the food. Who cares? Good gracious, that make any sense to me how Facebook is taking them. And you know, remember how you used to take pictures to keep memories going? You know, you'd store it on your computer as you got a little, you had it on your, you, you took pictures and got it done at Walgreens, got yeah. it three cents. Yeah, no, nobody does that anymore. Straight from the camera, phone, to Facebook. I got a, I got a beep on my phone that you just been tagged. I'm looking at the thing that says, Mike Black picking his nose at Outback. <laughs> I was in Outback, I just finished picking my nose. I didn't do that so fast. It makes no sense to me. Come on. No need for that. None whatsoever. The good thing about being addicted to Facebook and getting help is that it's only three steps. It's not a long 12-step process. I don't have to apologize to anybody or make amends or anything like that. It's just three steps. Number one, admit you have a problem. Number two, get help. Number three, grow the hell up. <laughs> Grow the hell up. Get off the computer and get some shit done, all right? Come on. It's crazy. I mean, my mom just got mad at me because I blocked her on my Facebook. I'm sorry, Ma, I can't do it. You can't, she, she doesn't know the difference between sending me a message or posting something on my wall. That gets a little bit uh, fishy. Yeah, and my mom is a, a traditional Baptist black woman. So she might be joking, I'm not for sure, but when she puts on my wall, didn't know you're so interested in white women now, Mike. <laughs> yeah, that didn't work out too well. Send a message, mom. This is why you're blocked. That's why you're blocked. All right, that's why I blocked you. Didn't make any sense. That is the funny ones. Oh, goodness. What about the people that are friends with everybody, Facebook friends with everybody at work, including their own boss, but they'll put the stupid status of, hey, anybody got any ideas on how to call off and work tomorrow? <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Grow up. To me, anytime you're still using, if, you, if you're at the point where you're using Cialis and Rogaine, <laughs> you're too old for Facebook, get off Facebook. You got some other shit to worry about, actually. No, but Facebook, oh my goodness, it's taking over. I, 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 I can't get away from it. Can't get away from it. Oh, don't forget to visit my page on Facebook. It's uh, Mike Black. Press like. I'm not watching it. I got a sponsor that's taking care of that. Don't worry about it. No, seriously. So, if you haven't been able to tell by now, this is not my day job. No. No, no. But... I am, I, I do have a very good job. I, I work in hotels. Yeah, so it's, I mean, it's what you do in Hilton Head. You either work in hotels or you serve at a restaurant. We're all together. That's what's prominent here. But I do, I enjoy it, I enjoy it. It's just, uh, customer service is, uh, yeah, I don't think I even have to explain that, do I? Do we have people in here that works in customer service? Anybody? Round of applause? Uh oh. <laughs> so I got, I got no backup when I get I'm getting ready to lay into these customers, do I? I got no backup whatsoever. But no, it's crazy. I mean, but you know, it's, it's I mean, hey, we had a comedy club, just like the barbershop or the hair salon. You're supposed to be able to say what you want to say, right? Right? Okay, so I've just been wanting to ask a question to all my vacationers, people that stay in hotels periodically. Yeah, I got a question that. What is it about a vacation that makes you lose all your senses? What is it? Sense of direction? Common sense? Oh my God, sense of hearing? What is it? I had a guy not too long ago, he just kept, I, 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 you have any kings? Uh, no sir, we're all out of kings. So you have no kings? No sir, we don't have any, so you got no kings. And I'm thinking, like, is this a mind game? 
You know what? I better check again because you got me thinking you know something I don't know. So I'm going to check it. No, we got no kings. Okay, I understand. Anything with one bit? I think that's a king, sir. No, we don't have that as well. Oh my goodness, sense of hearing is going out the window. Ah, uh, sense of direction. My goodness. This, this is something else now. I mean, it's gotten as bad as people are calling me from their house, sitting on their couch, and asking me, how do I get to your place from here? <laughs> wow. I said, well, probably what you should do is walk out your door, walk down to your neighbor's house, because I'm sure he's been here before. Just ask him how to get here. He's from Ohio. You guys from Ohio? You guys, I'm sure you've been here before. No, we, we like Ohio. Don't, 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 don't get me wrong. Especially during this time of year. We need you. No, seriously. But I, I mean, come on. I had a lady tell me on the phone, can you, I don't have access to a computer. Can you print me, can you get me some directions from my house to your place? I said, okay, so... How do you plan for me to get this to you? She said, oh, just email it to me. <laughs> Busted. So I emailed her, and it said two words. Google it. No, I didn't. We can't do that. I'm sorry. That's a fantasy of ours. She got the directions. She got there safe. It's just a hotel fantasy, that's all. <laughs> what we wish we could do. <laughs> but it's crazy how it works, man. Hotels, I mean, oh, I tell you one thing that's really gotten out of hand, special occasions. How many of you guys, anybody here on a special occasion? No? You just get, you guys just here, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I see you guys, oh, everybody got the invitation. We, we set it up this way. We only wanted 20 people, don't worry. <laughs> this is a setup. We did this on purpose, all right? Special, you two over there too. They won the, the lucky table. Uh, but, yeah. <laughs> but no, I mean, special occasions. I blame TGI Fridays, that's what I'm blaming. Because it started with TGI Fridays probably 20 something years ago. And somebody said, hey, it's our birthday. And TGI Fridays came out, happy, happy birthday, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, birthday to you. Hey, hey. And you got a cake. Like, oh, we didn't even ask for a cake. I wonder if this works all the time. Yeah. It's his birthday, too. Oh, happy, happy birthday, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. Hey, hey, hey. Cake. Uh, I wonder if this works everywhere. And they come in. Hey, it's my birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. And we send them up cake to their room. Champagne sometimes. Time to cut the strawberries. But now it's gotten to the point where they're forcing our hands. We're not making the decision to give you something now. So now it's a time we come in. Hi, welcome to the hotel. How you doing? It's our 35th anniversary. Okay, what's your last name? Uh, it's Johnson. It's our 35th anniversary. Okay, so you check it. It's our 35th anniversary. Okay, you want cake, don't you? You want cake? All right, you got a cake. Hand me a 35th anniversary, all right? Oh, I, I had a guy come in and say, he checked in and say, and he had his wife right here, right here, special occasion, said, Hey, it's my wife's birthday. What are you guys going to do for her? <laughs> I guess we're going to do whatever you didn't do for her. Jeez. Oh, my goodness. She got cake. She got cake. But no, it's, it's, it's crazy how it works nowadays with this thing. And yet, one thing I, you know, I want to know about is... When did men, and don't get offended, guys, I just want to ask a question. It's something I experienced. When did men, or should I say, when do men hand over the balls? Is it before the vacation, or is it during the vacation, or is it after the vacation? I just want to know. Is it before the vacation? Oh, my goodness. I've never seen this stuff before. Men come into the, they can't even hold their own wallets. What? What is up with that? I've never seen this stuff before. It's crazy. 
crazy. I seen men come in and say, hey, we got a reservation. I said, oh, what name is on there? Uh, let me go check with my wife. <laughs> I do that about three or four times before we even get the first check in and say, hey, 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 just bring her inside, okay? Let's go, go get her. You know men don't make no reservations. We don't make reservations. We don't care about what date we're going. We're told when we're going. And now that I know this, we are told which credit card to use. Yeah. I see the guy at the desk, and he's checking in. His wife's standing. The Discover. We're going to use the Discover. Don't even use that voice. You didn't make that decision. It's not your decision. Get out of here. I love when the couples go up and the guys just, just so, oh my goodness. He's, he gets up to the room and you can hear it. He calls down, hey, uh, this is uh, this is uh, room 432. Um, I don't think this is the room that we reserve. And that was never even let me see it all of a Yeah, and I think, I'm pretty sure we ordered an ocean view. That was another one that we This is not the one that we Yeah, um, this is not the room that we're going to pay. I tell him again, I'm not going to hear that. I guess I'm coming down to get new keys. <laughs> I'll come with you. No, no, no. I'll go down and get keys. And he goes down and says, please help me out, man. Please. Please help me out, man. No, but, it, it, but no. But seriously, the hotel business is great. We all enjoy it. I, I mean, it's one of those jobs you just can't fake. You can't, uh, you, you gotta love it to do it. Any customer service job. So, but that's my time, folks. Thank you for coming out. I appreciate the love. And uh, keep enjoying your night. You got a great comment tonight, all right? Thank you. Good up for Michael Black. Yeah. See, there's a reason that nice guys like him do that instead of me, right? Somebody comes up and goes, What are you going to do for my wife? I I don't know, hook her up with somebody else because you're an asshole. Um, happy birthday! You know, that's why I can't do stuff like that, you know? People say stuff to me, I have stuff to say back. It's not good, you know? Uh, somebody goes, oh, I got 800 Facebook friends you're talking about. I'm like, really? I'm going to give you a ride to the airport. Uh, how many 